Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Sichamba Jacob. All right, so in today's video, we look at a dot product. So let's say we have two vectors. We have vector A, which is equal to 3i plus 4j. And vector B is equal to 2i. This is 2i. I plus 3j. So now you want to find the dot product of uh, these two vectors. First of all, what is a dot product? This is simply a way of uh, multiplying, way of multiplying vectors. So uh, like it is with numbers, okay? Just numbers, you have a 2 and uh, a 4. If you want to multiply these two, you just say 2 times 4. 2 times 4 which is equal to 8. So there is a way we use when we want to multiply vectors. And uh, one of the ways is called dot product or scalar product. So you get your vector A and vector B. You multiply them, okay? So this is how it works. Copy it, your A, and the dot there, copy your vector b which is over here and then you start multiplying the way we just multiply this by this it will give us uh, 3i multiplied by 2 uh, 2 2i this is 3i multiplied by 2i plus 3i multiplied by 3j by the way, you need to know that a dot in mathematics means multiplication. If you don't want to write, for example, if you don't want to write 2 times uh, uh, 4, you can write it like this, 2 dot 4. These are just the same. All right, so where are we? We're here. We've multiplied this by this. Now we start the other one. This is 4j multiplied by 2i plus 4j multiply by sorry a dot here multiply by 3j okay so this is how it works so here you now concentrate on the numbers this times this will just give us a, a 6 plus this times this will give us a 0 why has it given us a 0 it's because there is a law which says when you're multiplying vectors and you find that these differ. Here we have i and here we have a j. Okay? So meaning is to just give you a zero. So perpendicular vectors will always give you a zero. That's what it means. Perpendicular vectors. So how do you know that these vectors are perpendicular when they have two uh, different signs here, j and d? Uh, I and D, J. They are different. That means they are perpendicular. These are parallel. So parallel, they will be multiplied. Perpendicular, they will just give you a zero. This applies to this one. There's a J and there's an I. They will just give you a zero. Here, we can multiply. It will give us a 12 because J and J, they are the same. Next thing here will be to now work out here where our final answer will just be 18. So this is how you find a dot product. There is a, a simple method to use. And uh, if you don't want to take all these steps, you can just do it like this. You just multiply the corresponding entries. For example, this is i and this is i. You just say 3 times 2, which is equal to 6. And here you say 4 times 3, which is equal to what? To 12. And it will give you what? 18. So this is uh, one of the simplest ways. Instead of going these, uh, all these steps or following all these steps, you just multiply the corresponding entries. Thank you so much. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and watch more and more videos.